全球人口老龄化大潮带来千亿抗衰老市场。从一根汤匙到全球五十个市场版图，科技领先是关键。We will not only be able to continue to innovate here in the United States, but we will also be able to continue to innovate specifically in Greater China. 大政商道即将关注。我们刚刚送走了第二十二个世界人口日，今年的主题是七十亿人的世界。因为根据联合国人口基金的统计，到今年十月底，世界人口将会突破七十亿，而目前六十岁以上的老年人口约有六亿。人口老龄化成为困扰世界的新问题，但同时也带来了新兴的抗衰老市场。有数据就显示，目前抗衰老市场产值约有一千亿美元，而二十七年前，美国如新集团就开始了抗衰老技术的研究。如果把人的一生定为一百岁，最容易出现健康问题的年龄在六十二岁左右，而在此之后，身体开始全面加速老化。My objective in helping to keep people healthy as they age through their life is really based on a very personal reason, and this personal reason is watching my father getting old, and I was very sad to see how he aged and actually lost his quality of life. In other words, he got sick at about 75 years old, and he didn't die until about six years later. 为了保持健康和对老年生命质量的追求，如新集团的科研人员们开始了对延缓衰老的研究。Well,、uh, in my first half of my career,、um, I actually focused, like you said, on developing drugs to fight and treat diseases. My thinking started to change and say, well, it's very good to help people to cure diseases. But is there a better way to actually help people to prevent having a disease? And that really starting to change my thinking and say, if I can actually help people to prevent disease, then I can help a whole lot more people than I can by developing drugs. This is the University of Wisconsin. In this secret lab, a research project is being conducted on the use of the brain to control the aging process. 这个研究开始于一九八九年，科研人员将年龄在七岁至到十四岁的七十六只恒河猴分成两组，一组为控制组，保持日常的饮食；而另一组为热量的限制组。在保证足够的营养的前提之下，食物中的热量比前一组降低百分之三十。These monkeys,、uh, some like to eat a lot, some don't eat much. We determined their food intake based on their individual habits. So, and then we lowered the food intake for that animal by 30 percent. 一般人工饲养的恒河猴平均寿命约为二十七岁。在二十年后研究结束时，控制组的恒河猴有百分之五十仍然活着，而热量限制组存活者的比例达到百分之八十。The animals are now either old or dead, and we've observed that caloric restriction in monkeys, in this case rhesus monkeys, which can live as long as 40 years, does improve their survival, does make them far less resistant to getting a disease of aging, such as cancer or diabetes, and it also preserves several functions that we have studied in their brains. 魏德里和彭月涛是美国生命基因科技中心的教授。魏德里教授的专业领域在于研究老化和限制热量的关系，彭月涛教授则在研究导致老化基因方面有着很深的造诣。在发现限制热量的猴子可以推迟老化和延长寿命之后，他们在研究两组猴子的基因排序，终于掌握了基因老化过程的详细分析。So aging is actually a very complex process, uh, and it's influenced by a large number of genes. So most laboratories studying aging focus on a single gene, and it's relatively easy to identify one gene that has some impact in aging because there are so many. But what's different about our approach is that we have the uh, data and the technology to scan the entire human genome for groups of genes that impact the aging process. 
一九九九年及两千零九年，国际权威科学杂志《Science》两度发表了美国生命基因科技中心的报告。经过长达二十年对猴子饮食热量控制的临床研究，他们从青春基因群组中确认了老化的根源，为揭示人类基因抗衰老提供了可能性。We have discovered the fundamental sources of aging. And these fundamental sources of aging are called age-related genes. And by this uh, unique discovery of age-related genes, we now have the ability to design ingredients or to test ingredients to see how they can influence these genes so that we can reset them back to a more youthful state. So we have now established this platform. 也是借鉴于他们猴子的这样一个试验，我们呢改用了小鼠的这样一个模型，这个体现呢就是说呢，抗衰老，我们这个 H log technology 这个技术本身呢，实际上是建立了一个平台。这个平台的筛选，让我们能够找到啊有效的成分，啊，经过了特殊的工艺，经过了我们的组呃这个特殊的这个组分啊，呃，把这个有效的成分组织起来。如新集团的科研团队犹如一个金三角，除了在威斯康星州大学的美国生命基因科技中心，还有另外两个重要的支点。他们一个是整合了公司核心资源，位于犹他州的抗衰老研究中心；另一个是美国斯坦福科研人员。在这些世界顶级的顾问团当中，既有斯坦福大学化学系荣誉教授、避孕药之父翟若士教授，也有被称为“抗氧化之父”的雷帕克教授。在强大的顾问团及科研协作下，独行集团以重设青春基因群组，从而逆转老化现象的技术为基础，推出了 H Lock 系列产品，有针对性的辨识并直击老化的根源。That everything that happens to our body is happening through something is changing at the genetic level, and that is what we are focusing on to see how we can keep our genes as healthy as possible. And this approach, we call age lock. Age lock is an is a huge step forward in anti-aging technology, because for the first time ever, we're now able to to measure and to monitor the impact of both topically applied products as well as ingested products on the human genome. 抗衰老行业伴随着人口老龄化而兴起。一九八四年，正准备进入法学院攻读硕士的罗百里先生发现，当时的保养品市场有很大的发展空间，所用成分也是有待提纯，于是以五千美元起家，成立了如新公司。当年制成品被放在了一个一家门空罐内，对产品有兴趣的顾客要自备容器到罗百里家中，让罗百里用汤勺为他们装填产品，那根汤勺也就成为了如新集团版图的开端。从一根汤勺到如今的全球五十个地区，如新制胜市场的法宝，除了在科研领域的前瞻布局和持续投入之外，还有荟萃优质的品质理念和全方位均衡布局的经营策略。普罗沃市是美国犹他州的一个小城，人口只有十一万。美国如新集团的总部正坐落在这个静谧的小城。从一九八四年创立开始，荟萃优质、纯然无瑕，便成为了如新的产品理念。From the very early days of the company, our our philosophy has been to create products that incorporate all of the good ingredients that are available in the world, whether they come from science or whether they come from nature. And to exclude all of the bad ingredients that are sometimes used in personal care products and nutrition products, that philosophy、uh, was very different in the marketplace. Our ingredients are really tested through a process that we call the 6S process. In fact, when we developed this process, it was perhaps the one of the only. Uh, High-quality, good manufacturing process、uh, that was occurring in the supplement industry. So this success process helps this company, Newskin, to make safe, very important to us, and effective supplements for our consumer. In 1990, Newskin started to enter the global market, and in 1991, established a holding company in Hong Kong, becoming the first Asian market to be opened. 
。有业界分析指出，目前抗衰老产品的总值达到了一千亿美元，并持续以百分之八至百分之十的增长率逐年递增。其中，亚太地区将是增长最快的地区之一。到二零一五年，抗老产品的增长率将达到百分之八十二。The um, supplement industry is going to grow every year. In fact, it's going to double, probably every year. The reason for this is because as you look at the whole world and all the populations in every country, you're starting to see that people are getting older. So this creates what we call a mega trend. In other words, it's a trend that is not going to disappear. Uh, the, the population, the global population, is going to get, is going to get older. And when they get older, they will need to have supplements to keep them healthy. So it is a very healthy and growing industry. In China, the aging population has increased. In the present, China has 1.78 billion elderly people. By 2050, it will double again. And at the same time, the Chinese wealth is also increasing. These two factors have created a huge supplement market for the China market. But for the huge Chinese market, the Ruxin Company has been studying for nine years. 才决定拿出超过十亿的投资投入中国市场。With with the growth of of the economic power of the Chinese consumer, the uh, the the rapid escalation in economic development in mainland China,、um, you can't you can't open a newspaper or a magazine here in the United States without reading about economic development in China. The the eyes of all the world are turned to China as we witness this historic、uh, e- evolution and economic development cycle. So we、uh, we could not be more excited about the mainland China market. We think that it has enormous、uh, long-term potential.、Uh, we do very well in other Chinese environments, and、uh, so that's why we have such high expectations for mainland China. 从两千零八年，如新开始在中国全面推出体验营销，在东西南北四个大区开设一千平方米以上的体验馆，通过体验馆、形象店、时尚店提供全新的体验式营销。有数据显示，如新集团二零一零年营业收入达到了十五点四亿美元，相比两千零九年同期净增百分之十五。而其中，中国内地市场表现尤为活跃，全年营收增长率达百分之四十七。Where we will house our new corporate headquarters for the Greater China Region, we will、uh, build out manufacturing facilities there to be able to manufacture for the Greater China Region, and we'll also house our our China-based science scientists in world-class laboratories that we'll build out、um, in our Shanghai facility. So、uh, we will not only be able to continue to innovate here in the United States, but we will also be able to continue to innovate specifically in Greater China for the for the Asian region generally. 目前，如新已在全球近五十个地区设有分公司，拥有超过八十万销售人员。We tend to use the phrase、um, "be local, but think global." And、um, that really was the vision of the founders in 1984, which is why they named the company New Skin International, because they always intended for it to be a global company. So, yeah, you you wouldn't think that here in a small town like Provo, we could have such a global enterprise, but that's one of the beauties of doing business today is that you can operate from even a small environment and still still have a global business. 从一根汤勺发端到如今，如新集团已经迈入了第二十七个年头。一家企业想要领跑抗衰老市场，需要做的是开发出让客户重返年轻的新产品。但对于整个企业而言，永葆青春更需要找到企业的长青基因。